Dylan, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Alice. Come on over and I'll show you. Sure. I'm just looking at this rhododendron in my neighborhood. It's so beautiful and it's flowering so nicely. And I had a question. I wonder how well it grew last year. Cool. You know, one really nice way to measure how plants grow can be through measuring something called stem elongation. Whoa. Have you ever measured that before? I don't think so. Well, let's take a closer look. Okay. On a plant stem, often it'll have a set amount of growth that it'll produce in any year. And between years, it'll produce a nice bud scar. Whoa. On these plants, we can look and see the length of the stem in between growth scars to let us know how good the growing conditions were in a given year. Whoa! Or how much growth the plant gave. So on this rhododendron, for example, I have really dramatic examples where I have green stems and brown stems that are almost look like the bud scar, but they're not. The actual bud scar is a circular area right around the stem. Let's zoom in for a closer look. Here you can see a branch stem with a really clear scar down at the base of the stem. As I move down the former stem, I see another circular star, scar down at the base of that stem. And then as I move further down, yet another scar. So how old is it? Well, there's no telling how old it is just from the scars, but what I can do is tell how well it grew in any given year. I take my handy ruler, I can measure the length of the stem between individual increments. Oh, this is getting oh, unruly. Can you do that with people too? I wish. Okay, so let's sum it up. If I wanted to look at the last four years of growth on this rhododendron, I'd start by measuring just last year. Right now it's 2020, and so this is 2019. 2019? Whoa. Let's record eight centimeters, got it? Yeah. Okay, noted down. For the next year, I go to the next branch scar. From this circular scar to this one. Can you see that? Yeah. Looks like again, it was just 8.2 centimeters. Whoa. Okay, going back in time a little bit further. The next year back, let's see, this was 2019, 2018. In 2017, we had only seven centimeters. Oh. And then finally, now it gets difficult. Our final year looks like we had about, whoa, 9.7 centimeters. That's a lot. It can be a lot. If conditions are good, these guys will really grow. But if they're poor, they may not. One more thing to keep in mind, Plants don't always respond to the current year's condition in the amount of stem elongation. Sometimes their growth is in response to the previous year's conditions. For example, if there's a really poor year, the plant may determine that the next year must be poor too. And so they will, they'll decide that, the, well, they'll pre-program essentially for the next year's growth to be lower. So Whoa, the following that's so year. so cool. <laughs> plants are amazing.